I'm with uh, San Diego State coach, Hall of Famer, uh, Tony Gwynn, and uh, I want to first thank you for uh, giving me your time here today. No, no problem. Thank you. And uh, as a hitting instructor, one of the easiest things for me to do is teach the uh, the mechanics of hitting. Right. That's the easy part. The hardest part is what I think made you one of the greatest hitters in the game thank you. was the approach to hitting. Yeah. And I'm going to step away, and I want you to explain what you need to do when you step into that box and, and where your mindset needs to be. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Tony Gwynn. I'm the head coach here at San Diego State. Uh, Hall of Famer. He used to play with the San Diego Padres for 20 years. And here's the thing I really like about the Camwood bat. It's really simple. Uh, most kids, most college guys, high school guys, pro, even pro guys, I think, we have the tendency to think that when we're hitting, we have to throw the barrel head at the baseball, and here to me is where the Cam Wood bat really kind of sets the table for you, and that is, in order to be a good hitter, you always have to lead with the now of the bat. You always have to lead with the bottom hand, and you let the barrel follow. You let the barrel trail, and so the hardest ball to hit in baseball is a good fast ball away. And if you learn to take the now of the bat to the baseball, and you get to that ball, fastball away, I guarantee you that the fastball in will be a whole lot easier to hit. And really it's about getting in a good position and taking the hands to the baseball correctly. And when I say taking them correctly, it's taking the knob of the bat to the baseball. If the ball's away, I want to take the knob to the baseball. If the ball's in the middle, I want to take the knob to the baseball. If the ball's inside, I want to take the knob of the bat to the baseball. And if I can keep my top hand palm up throughout my swing, I'm going to be able to cover the ball late and the ball early. And that, that half, you notice I went from away to inside. That half is the half the knob of the bat is going to take to make contact. And everybody, especially younger guys, feel like the ball in is a lot harder to hit than the ball away. And really, it's the opposite. The ball away is a lot harder to hit than the ball in, and if you take your hands on the right path, that's going to allow you to hit both, and that's why this cam bat, to me, is really a nice thing to have because it'll really help you understand the path that your hands have to take in order to make consistent contact. Well, it was really, it took a little while to kind of figure it out, but I, I, I think early on in my career, I kind of established, okay, what type of hitter I am. What am I trying to do when I get up to the plate? And what I learned was I'm a contact hitter. I'm not a guy who's going to hit the ball out of the ballpark. And so my goal is to go up to the plate and put the bat on the ball, pure and simple. No, you know, I had no preconceived notions of where I wanted to hit it. I just knew that for me, what I did best was hit the ball the other way. And to me, that's the hardest part when it comes to hitting is being able to stand here and let the ball travel and let it get deep. Because, boom, right there, that's, that's really where I made a living, right there, fastball away. And so I knew if I could handle this ball right here, this ball right here was going to be easier to get to. And it's all about hand position. And notice the hands, how when you go from away to in the middle to out in front, that the palm on the top hand is up. It's not going over. Because if it starts to go over... Now I'm going to make a whole lot of outs, and I'm not going to be able to hit the ball as hard. And so I understood that if I got into a good position and I had took my hands on the right path throughout my swing, that I was going to have a chance for success. And that, in the game of baseball, is one of those little battles that you have to try to win, okay? We can't be so locked up on the result. We have to be, we really have to focus on the process. And the process is, if I could go to the plate and do things right every time, my chances of success go way up. So for me, it was understanding that I needed to control this ball out here first. If I could control this ball, this ball in the middle and this ball in the inside would be easier to hit. And that's, that's who I was. That's what I tried to do. I tried to hit the ball. I tried to let it get deep as much as I could. Every now and then, you're going to take a shot. You're going to look for a ball in the middle of the plate. You're going to look for a ball in. But if I didn't get it where I was looking for, I would take it and work the camp, try to work the camp to get to where I thought I knew where I, what I was going to get. 
but ultimately I wasn't a gas hitter. I didn't really anticipate a whole lot. I just kind of trusted my eyes and trusted if I got my hands in the right position that I was gonna that I could hit it. And ultimately I learned that if I could handle the ball away, I could handle the other two zones a whole lot easier. And so I really focused on trying to trying to command the fastball or trying to command the outer third of the plate because if I could control that, I can control the other two thirds. And it really got to the point where I could go up to the plate and not really look for anything other than something out over the plate and still be able to handle balls middle and in.